the tram that lost its way. I was walking along an unfamiliar street when I suddenly heard the cawing of crows, the ringing of a lute and distant thunder. A tram was flying past. How I jumped on its step was a mystery to me. It left a fiery trail in the air, even in broad daylight. It rushed like a dark winged storm. It lost its way in the abyss of time. Driver, stop, stop the tram immediately. Too late. We have already rounded a wall, hurtled through a palm grove, thundered over three bridges across the Neva, the Nile and the Seine. And in a flash past the window, an old beggar, of course, the very one who died a year ago in Beirut, threw us a searching glance. Where am I? So languidly, so anxiously, my heart beats in answer. You see the station where you can buy a ticket for the India of the spirit. A signboard, the letters flooded with blood spell out green grocer. I know that instead of cabbages and swedes, they sell dead heads here. In a red shirt with a face like an udder, the executioner cut off my head as well. It lay together with the others at the very bottom of the slippery box. A wooden fence by the side street, a three windowed house and a grey lawn. Driver, stop! Stop the tram immediately! Mashinka, you lived and sang here. Wove a rug for me, your betrothed. Where now are your body and voice? Can it be that you are dead? How you moaned in your chamber, while I, in a powdered wig, went to present myself to the Empress, never to see you again. Now I understand. Our freedom is only a light penetrating from another world. People and shadows stand by the entrance to the zoological garden of the planets. And a familiar sweet wind rises suddenly. Beyond the bridge, a rider's hand in a mailed glove and two hooves of his horse fly towards me. St. Isaac's is carved on high, the true stronghold of orthodoxy. There I will order prayers to be said for Marshinka's health and a funeral service for me. But still, my heart is forever gloomy. It's difficult to breathe. It's painful to live. Mashinka, I never thought that one could feel such love and such sadness. <laughs>